Daryl Lance Abbott, otherwise known as Dimebag Daryl, was a legendary lead guitarist best known for his work as the band Pantera's guitarist. He's considered by many to be one of the greatest heavy metal guitarists of all time. Most of the guitars he played include his recognizable Washburn and Dean ML model guitars and later the Dean Razorback, all of which he had signature models for. In this video, we will drill down on some of the effects pedals that Daryl used throughout his career and offer suggestions on the standard pedal order when using these types of pedals. We will also make recommendations on newer effects pedals for some of the ones he used that are no longer available. Let's start with tuners since they are generally placed first in the signal chain. Dime was known to use the Korg DTR2000 rack mount tuner and the Korg DT7 chromatic tuner. The Korg Pitch Black Pro rack mount tuner is a newer version to the DTR2000 and is a standard model that would be used today. This professional rack mount tuner is known to have ultra high tuning accuracy. Next up, we have his signature wah pedal, the Dunlop DB01 Dime Crybaby from Hell. This hot rotted wah has an extended sweep, which gives you more high end with a pedal down or low end with a pedal up. A five-way selector on the side lets you choose which frequency you want to play with, and the camo graphics gives the pedal some serious attitude. He was also known to use the digital WH1 whammy pedal. For fuzz pedals, Dime liked using the Electro Harmonix Big Muff Pie, the MXR M103 Blue Box, and the Dunlop GH3S Jimi Hendrix Octave Fuzz. There are also newer versions of the Big Muff Pie available. For a compressor, Dime used the Electro Harmonix Soul Preacher. EHX now makes the Nano Soul Preacher, which offers three selectable attacks coupled with silky, long sustains that blend in perfect harmony to create one of the finest compressors ever built. Next up on the list would be overdrive and distortion pedals. Daryl was not only good friends with Zach Wilde, but also liked using his signature pedal, the MXR ZW44 Overdrive. Separate from his pedal board, he was also known to use the Korg Toneworks G1 Distortion Processor. This multi-effects processor has several presets that were designed by Daryl himself. An EQ pedal could go next in the signal chain, and Don used the MXR 6-band graphic equalizer. A newer version of this pedal is also available. Modulation pedals would be next, and he was partial to the Maxon CS9 Pro Stereo Chorus and the Boss CE1 Chorus Ensemble. The Walrus Audio Julia, Fender Hammertone Chorus, and Eventide Tricera Chorus pedals would all be newer options to consider today. Boss has since released several newer versions of the Chorus Ensemble. He also used the Roland AP2 Phase 2 Phaser pedal and the Electro Harmonix Small Tone Phase Shifter. The MXR M267 Deep Phase, Maestro Orbit Phaser, and the Boss PH3 would be a few comparable pedals that would be used today. For flanger effects, he used the Electro Harmonix Mistress Flanger Filter Matrix. The EHX Neo Mistress and MXR Micro Flanger would be similar options that could be purchased today. While many of these pedals' positions could be interchangeable depending on your desired tone, many players would agree that the best order for these pedals would be the order in which they were presented in this video. It is also recommended that you also try placing the overdrive and distortion pedals after the chorus pedals and having other modulation effects such as flangers and phasers in the third position. Then having time-based effects such as reverb and delay at the end of the signal chain. Always remember, there is no wrong way to connect your effects in your signal chain as each method can provide you with different sonic results. Thanks again for watching and please like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.